Oh no, somebody left a key in the check. Not really, I'm uh, working right here and I want to show you something that uh, in my efforts to preserve chucks <laughs> worldwide, that is, I get a lot of feedback from people that uh, are picking up a few tips on chucks that I have picked up too long ago and I'm glad to pass them on and I and uh, I hope it works some of the, these things work for everybody and works for some people anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wind this chuck open and if you look right down in there you'll see the scroll you see the scroll becoming visible you can see it moving, I think. Oh, kind of a little band of silver there. That's moving. Okay, so this is a real critical wear point. When, when the scroll, this, this part of the chuck here is the bearing for that scroll to turn on. So it's important that it gets lubrication. And a really easy way to do that is wind it out like that. Then take your goldenrod oil can and just give it a shot of oil like that. You see that? Then go ahead and rotate the chuck to the next spot. And you can see the scroll is exposed. Little shot of oil there. And the last one, just a little shot of oil. That's a pretty good shot. And what's really cool, then wind it closed. And you can really feel it get slicker and it's you thoroughly lubricated the pivot on the scroll and then plus the scroll itself. Here we go. Go ahead and wind it all the way. You know, when you use equipment now this is a tip I picked up, and it, I think it goes for everything. A lot of times you're better off fully opening and fully closing a chuck, for example, and also on machine tools uh, to uh, move the uh, slides, like roll the uh, carriage back and forth on the lathe, and uh, the cross slide. Okay, let's put a piece of metal in there that's hopefully fairly straight. I always like to check these trucks. I haven't used this one for a little while. Let's see, it's fine. I got a pinion marked here. It seems to be consistently better. Call it the master pinion. And that's this one right here. So I'm going to take and just start to tighten this test bar here. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to rotate it to the back because that's the pressure the tool puts on it when it's going this way and cutting. It's, it's uh, putting pressure on it to go back. So when you put stuff in the chuck, rotate it towards the back. And you'll take up this little bit of the play and it helps getting just a little bit more consistent. So I, I just got the jaws barely touching and I'm just feeling for a good spot without a bump. Right there. Give it a good snog. And we will see if it's running out good. Get this little indicator over here. 
somewhere like that. Grab the camera, drum roll. Is it going to be okay? Indicators working good. Why, it's better than a half thousandth. Let's turn it a little bit here. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, that, that helps, you know, taking care of a truck. You ground the jaws, you've done all this stuff, and uh, just keep it lubricated. Now, what I'm up to is I bought a pair of cheapskates. And <laughs> you know what? Here they are. And oh, I got a microphone cable tied up here. So I'm, I'm fixing these so they work like everything made in China, right? You gotta, you, it's a kit. You, <laughs> you gotta fix it. Now, when I moved that uh, Monarch 10 E out of here a while back, uh, the fellow came over and he had a set of these. And we had a bit of difficulty, but we got it loaded. And one of the things I noticed with these under the uh, machine and we were having difficulty and part of the difficulty is the really rough driveway I got out here it's worse nobody's got a worse driveway than me or a shop floor this floor is terrible I moved the cutter grinder back about a foot or so and I have it on plates here this is absolutely the worst part of the floor now either this concrete on the driveway uh, or in here it's either soft or it's uh, granite hard <laughs> well anyway this these things have to go over stuff like that and one of the things I noticed when we we're kind of having trouble over some washboard or a gap or something was these rollers would snap back and forth there's more than a quarter inch play here see and these things could change directions and just kind of act weird while, these, uh, while this stuff moves. So what I'm doing is I'm putting spacers in here so they don't slop back and forth. These got like 6204 uh, bearings in these uh, rubber coated steel uh, rollers. And they're not the best quality bearings on earth, and plus they're loose on the shaft itself. It's like a three-quarter <laughs> inch uh, crappy piece of steel through these uh, bearings that have a, a bigger ID. So anyway, I'm uh, hoping taking up this end play uh, will help. And what, what I'm going to do is uh, move that uh, radial drill press. It weighs 6,000 pounds and it's top heavy kind of weird and uh, radial drills are the one of the most dangerous machines you can move for <laughs> a number of reasons. You have to take uh, several precautions. But I, I, I've moved it with just a pallet jack that's rated at 6,000 pounds. So I'm going to use a combination of the pallet jack and have these uh, outboard and uh, hopefully the thing won't tip over on this bad uh, driveway that I have to deal with here. So anyway that's what I'm up to. I'm making these spacers and um, to check the gaps I'm just, I'm just pulling drill bits out of, the, out of my index to find one that slips in good and uh, then I'm making spacers over here on uh, the old Axelson. So the other thing that's happening is this uh, milling machine. I got to remove the gearbox out of uh, the knee and uh, that's happening. I got some kitty litter in there um, getting the oil. and. One of the problems, and, the, and it also has to come completely out, is because it leaks. So over time, you know, it'll leak uh, a couple gallons of oil into the base of the machine. So that's going to be nice to stop. Okay.
I hope you're all having a good morning and uh, I just thought I'd show a lineup of projects that I'm working on today and I hope you uh, are having good luck with your projects too. Okay, I'll be back. I got some stuff I'm doing with drill bits I want to show you. Okay, have a good morning. <laughs> 